السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته whenever you are whenever you are whenever you are good morning good evening good afternoon good day for all of you I am doing this short video to try to explain properly the advice which was given to me by my younger brother Abd Rahman which mentioned in my talk on the 31st of December about the end of year account. His intention was to tell me the certain level that a scholar have when he or she present its finding, their finding to the community. The more laughs and jokes and songs to put in their talks, the more uh, decreasing of their credibility in front of the public. I misunderstood this, his message. I thought he's talking about uh, humility, he's talking about uh, arrogance, he's talking about something else, but no, he's talking about the respect that people will have to build around the character of the public figures, of the scholars, of the learned people. They should not put a lot of jokes in their talks. The lesson here is, in spite of the fact that both of us were in the same room, I still misunderstood the message, actually, which was in Arabic. It was not through Zoom or social media or any other form of communication. Here is my advice to young people. Not because you speak English fluently, that means that your message will be understood as you want it to be understood. Not because you speak French or Arabic or Urdu or Kurdish or Swahili or Punjabi or Gujarati or German. People will receive the message as you said it or as you wanted them to understand it. Because the message will be explained more by the tune of your voice, by the vocabulary you used, by the body language that you use while you're delivering it, by your, the heat of your speech. That's why most of the time Prophet used to give an advice, he give short pieces of advice make it extremely clear to everyone to enable people who are listening to him to understand his message clearly. And in spite of the fact he was doing this in all his life, still people interpret it differently. So my advice to you young people who are starting to speak in front of social media for hours or those TV presenters who who speak every day for two or three hours. I don't know where they bring the subject from. The message could be misinterpreted as much as I misunderstood the advice of my young, uh, wise man who was intending to tell me something and then answer it differently, in spite of the fact both of us were in the same room. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to start 2023 was not clarifying and clearing this misunderstanding. I share about this short video next to my talk. And I thank my young, wise advisor, Abdurrahman, for giving me this advice. I wish you a happy new year for all of you, wherever you are, wherever you are. And I keep insisting to talk about the forgotten crisis, like you go in China. Kashmir in India, Palestine, uh, Gaza, uh, Syria, Yemen, Eritrea, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Democratic Republic of Congo, Central African Republic, and Balkan, which is countries in the Balkan area, which is ex-Yugoslavia, Eritrea, and uh, others as well. 
don't forget them, please. They need your help. The thousands and hundreds of thousands of internally displaced people in Iraq, as well as the refugees, the Kurdish refugees, who cross the border from Syria to Iraq. Thank you, and Happy New Year. And may Allah bless you for listening to me to clarify this message. So my misunderstanding to the advice of my younger, wiser brother, Abdurrahman. Assalamu alaikum wa